Hello and welcome back to this Video Studio Pro X6 tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add video filters into your videos. So first of all make sure you've got a video in your timeline and then you need to click on this FX button and this is for filters. Okay so you'll see in this library here that there is a whole range of different filters. If you can't see them all it may be because you've got one of these selected. If you want to see them all then simply just click all and then they'll all appear here. Okay, so to insert one of these, it's very simple to do that. Um, so I'm just going to go with the rain one, which is just here. You left click on it, and then you drag it on top of your video, and then that will apply it. So you'll now see that the rain has been applied to this video. Okay, so you can see that the rain is coming straight down with not really much animation to it. There is a way of editing this. All you have to do is click on your video, then click Options. Then in the Attribute section here, you'll see that the rain filter is there. And then on this drop-down menu, there's a whole range of different effects that you can have for your rain. There's heavier ones and there's less dense ones. Um, or you can customise it yourself by clicking Customise Filter. So you can see here in the Effect Control, you can change the density. This one is quite low and you can change it to really high if you wanted to and you'll see in the preview window that it's gone very dense there. I'm just going to drop that back down again though. You can also change the length of each raindrop. You can see they're quite long. If you make this smaller, you can make the raindrops very small. You might not even be able to see that very well. But there are some small raindrops there. And if you really want to, you can make them really long, which is like that. You probably have that effect for a heavier rain which you're trying to create. So let's drop that down again. And likewise, you've got the length, you can also do the width. This will make the raindrops a lot wider. Just like that. And then when you click on the advanced controls, you can see that there is the speed of the rain coming down. There's also the wind direction, turbulence and vibration. So when you set the wind direction really high, you'll see that the rain is almost driving in from an angle. As you can see there. So there are plenty of things that you can do with your video filters. This is just one of them. There's loads of them. Um, and you can customise nearly every single one. So there's a lot that can be done with them and they're very useful for enhancing and improving your videos. So I recommend giving these a go and at least trying them out. And for more videos like this in the near future, please stay tuned.